Greetings, I'm Barrent, and welcome to Meet Me at the Table. We are continuing our playthrough of The Seventh Continent. What goes up must come down. This is the new expansion from Sirius Pulp. We're working on A Prison of Clouds. That's one of the curses from the new game. Now, this video is going to be recorded back to back with the last video. I could have made it one big long video, but I thought it'd be better to break up the two videos. Our brave adventurers were up high in the sky in our last video, and they're going to be coming down onto the continent to see what happens. But before we do, I do want to talk about this card. I mentioned it in my last video that I was hoping to talk about it. It's called Change of Course. It says the wind changes suddenly. Is this good news or bad news? Now this card will make me take a new weather card and then our characters can choose if we liked it or not and we're able to gain a card based on this. I thought it was kind of silly because you could just kind of say what you wanted to. Of course, there is a school of thought in the way the game is played that not knowing the consequences will make the game a little bit more realistic and more thematic. That is totally up to you if you wish to do that. Nowhere in the rules does it say that you can't know the consequences. Once the card's in front of you, you can read the card. But and if Sirius Pulp would wish you not to know something, they would say something on the lines of, if you decide to do this, take this card. If you decide to do that, take this card. So there are some ways of hiding some information. I wanted everybody to understand that there are different ways of playing this game. There's also some variants that are in the rule book themselves, so please check those out as well. You can make the game easier, harder. You can add some extra success cards into your action deck, which again make it kind of a little bit more of an easy mode, but not full on easy. And there's of course the immortal mode, where all you do is go around and travel the continent, then be able to explore without any fear of losing the game. So for video purposes, we are going to make sure to read every part of the card. I want everybody to understand everything that's going on in the game. So that's all I have for this. Will Amelia and Anjika be able to survive their first landing on the seventh continent? To find out, I need you to meet me at the table. So I've got our 123 card. It says, tall trees with above ground roots border the edge of a dark and nearly impenetrable jungle. All right, here we are. This card looks familiar. I, I had a feeling seeing those type of trees on that card. This, if you've played the Voracious Goddess, you might have seen cards similar to this. So we're going to put it right, I'll put it right there. Oh, I can go from any direction though. Hmm, what am I going to do? We'll leave it right there. I think we're going to be fine. I'm going to put out some exploration cards. I'm going to put our balloon right here. All right, and there's an absolute jungle worth of three cards here. Get it? Jungle worth of three cards and we're in the jungle. Okay, we're going to put those out here. One, two, three, and four, just like that. Now, again, I don't know how much exploring we're going to do. I'm mainly coming down because I need to eat. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to craft a fire. Amelia Earhart, now that we're back on the ground, I'm going to dump my guys out of the balloon. There they are. I'm going to put our balloon up here. But we do know our balloon is on 123. I wrote that down right here. So we've got our characters back out on our map. They're now going to be taking individual actions again. And we're going to be using our rudimentary flint first. I'm going to take two cards and hope for one success. One, two. Actually, I might just take three just to make sure it happens. Hmm. I wonder if there's something else I should do first. Nope, we're just going to go ahead and take two. Hope this is good. All right, we got one. Poof, the... <laughs> My heart always skips a beat when we get close to the end of these. Because if I wouldn't have got that, I'd have to discard that. All right, and the other one is, oh, no, one of these things is in the area. Oh, I don't want him in the area. I'm going to be crafting stuff. All right, we're going <laughs> to go ahead and put our balloon guy down here. We might have to get rid of that guy. All right, we're going to throw this in the discard pile. That's fantastic. And we're going to, well, I could keep this friction fire, but something I have to do first, I forgot to mention, I'm going to make this rudimentary fire. And it is part of our hunting knife rudimentary flint super item here. So we're going to go down to three on that. We were at five. We used the hunting knife in the air. Now this says we have to get rid of the card. So now the hunting knife is our primary uh, item for this super item. So if we add more cards to this, this is going to be our top card. It's still going to have the aggressiveness keyword. Now, for example, if we would have had, oh, let's say this friction fire kit underneath our rudimentary flint card and we used it, now this would be our primary card and now our stack would be a vigilance cards primarily even if we would have had the hunting knife under there earlier if we'd had anything else with vigilance that would change its 
uh, die number, but anything other than that wouldn't. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, that's not what's happening here. If it ever happens, I'll be able to get a better example. But we're going to go ahead and remove this, and we're going to put this back over with Amelia. We're then going to put our fire figure on the board. I'll put it right there. We're going to discard our rudimentary flint, and I actually think I am going to discard... Oh, this takes wood, though. I'm going to discard my Keep Believing card. I know I've been saving it for a while, but I'm going to discard it because now that we have fire, I'm going to go ahead and eat, get a lot of action cards back, and we can craft a whole bunch of stuff. I'm sorry. I lied. I don't want this. I will keep my Keep Believing card. The reason I don't want it is I did look at my items. None of them have Vigilance on them, so I would have to... I only have... I have three stacks of items already, so that wouldn't really help me. And now it is time. Anjika is going to go ahead and cook all three of these meats. So they're going to... Oh, man, I bumped the camera. I apologize. It's going to go ahead and give us six... Randomly take six cards if you have the fire resource from the discard pile and shuffle them back into the action deck and return this. So we're gonna get 18 cards. That's really good, we needed it. So I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these up and grab 18. So we're grab 18 cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, that looks very good. All right, we're gonna, oh, sadly our bow's on top, so I don't have the bow in here, but that's okay. We got 18 cards, that's awesome. I'm gonna max, mix those in with that. And our action deck is all set again. That looks so much better. Now, I think we need to try to deal with this. So I'm going to look at this card. Now, if you look in our satchel, here's that flying root card. And I can attempt to make it just move away from me. The plant flies away. Move one flying root figure from your terrain card to an adjacent terrain card of your choice. Or I can discard a keyword with the following action. You must discard the keyword, sorry, with serenity and stealth in order to do this action. So I have to see if I've got something like that. Well, I do have this card. This card has stealth on it, but I don't want to get rid of it. I saved this specifically so I could I could almost move it with this card. I think that's my best bet. This is a free craft action. Check this out. There's a leaf on this board. So this is free. I'm going to go ahead and build this, this uh, war paint. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to have Amelia go ahead and build this walking stick. She's, this has wood on it as well, so this is also free. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is build that war paint. Our war paint is going to go right up here and it has two durability on it. So it's gonna be all set to be used pretty soon. Now we're also gonna get the rest of these cards all set up. Something I noticed that I failed to realize is our rope, I could have used that to pretty much start the fire for free. I didn't even, I, I didn't catch that. I've kind of missed out on this rope. I should be using this a lot more. Look, it also does our pull action to get our balloon in the air. It helps with climbing. The, the rope is awesome. Next, we've got our walking stick. It is also free. I'm gonna be able to add this to our will group, which is right up here. So our will cards now gain four more durability. They were at two, so they're gonna to go to six. So our cards have, he, this, I have a lot of walking stick I can use. It's gonna be really good, especially since this clue card we found mentioned something about them having stashed something around here. I don't know what it is, but maybe, they're, maybe we might find that. Now, these two items we have left, they're not free, so we're gonna to have to deal with those soon. Now, coming back to this card, I can't make this thing move because there isn't an adjacent tile. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look over here. We're gonna pathfind over here and see what we see. We found forest fire, oh boy. The forest is burning ahead of you. If you want to continue this way, you will have to cope with the thick smoke and rising flames. Each involved character takes a 104 card discard that it's actually if we try to do it. Otherwise, we can do a, uh, what is that? That's that orientate action. I get an experience point, and I discard this. Whoops. And I can go ahead. Of course, now I've got fire on the board, <laughs> which I don't need anymore. Uh, the flames nearly surround you, but you are able to escape. Evolve characters take a 103 card. Okay, so that didn't work. Hmm, maybe I can send it down here. I don't think that's going to help us. We're going to go, I'm going to look at this one too. I, now, see, this is a permanent event. I don't have to do that. It's not a temporary event. So I can choose just leave that forest fire right there, and I think that's what we're going to do. Now, let's see what this card says. This card is heavy rain. Flooding rain suddenly pours down, which will make any fires difficult to maintain. Run for cover. Remove all fire figures on the board. Oh, barf. Well, so much for my fire figure. I'm going to remove that. That was terrible. And let's see what else it says here. 
I have to do another pathfind action. You find shelter under a very old tree and wait until the rain stops before continuing. Grab a 003 card. By the time you find shelter, you are completely soaked. Each involved character returns bloody state, but each involved character that is tired, hungry, and poisoned takes a 103 card. All right, that's terrible too. Now I forgot to say I was doing the action. I'm gonna have it, Amelia. I apologize. I can't Again, I forgot to do that. Amelia's going to go this way. She's going to go ahead and take this Pathfind action. She's going to go ahead and grab two cards and hope for the best here. All right, let's see how this goes. I can't believe I don't have fire anymore. Think that might be actually really useful. And I got my my star, and then I've got Remember. Oh, I've got Remember. Remember can get me back something to make fire with. All right, we're going to keep our Remember card, and I'm going to discard our Think card. And we're just going to go ahead and gain a 003 card, and we're gonna remove this, put it in the past, and put out a 161 card. So here's our 161 card. It says, the vegetation, though still somewhat dense, has given way to a little more open space in this area. You notice the remains of a camp not too far from a precipice. Well, that's a cool camp. Now I can go check something out over here if I want to, but we're not really wanting to. We wanna send this guy that way. Now we got a 03 card. It says, a moment from your previous expedition comes to mind. Viho, your group's Shana, Sha, Shane, Shane Pathfinder, oh, sorry, stumbled over that one, had an amazing ability to spot paths to places that were otherwise unreachable. Tip, examine train cards carefully. In addition to potential hidden numbers, they may contain helpful hints such as animal tracks suggesting the presence of wild game in the area. I gained one experience point. And we'll put this right in our satchel. So according to here, we got our flying root. I can move the plant, or sorry, move one flying root figure from your terrain card to an adjacent terrain card of your choice. I don't even need to do anything because I have my war paint. And our war paint is sitting on a two. So if I tick this down to one, we can go ahead and use the war paint, which gives me negative two cards and or a success and a lucky seven. We're going to take the success, not drawing any cards, and we're going to move this guy right over there. Now we're moving back to craft time. I'm gonna go ahead and make this card. I'm gonna go ahead and spend two cards because I don't have the vine resource and I don't have the uh, leaf or the stone resource. I'm sorry, it has just the leaf and the wood. So we're gonna take two cards from our action deck to make this. We found a troubled childhood, which I don't need, and a blowpipe, oh, this is really good too, vigilance, and I, oh, I don't have a thing for it though. All right, I think she's gonna take this. I don't think I have any vigilance items over there, but that's okay. We have crafted our bolas. Now, before I go over there, I just also wanna finish crafting. We're gonna make our club. There is a stone resource and there is a wood resource. So it's only gonna cost me one for Amelia to create this club. So she's gonna go ahead and take a card. Forewarned is forearmed is so awesome. We are totally keeping this card with the rest of her cards. Keep believing and remember. So we're gonna put those over here and let's go add these to our characters. So our first one is gonna be our club. It's aggressiveness. So it's gonna go with our hunting knife and it gets three durability. So now our durability on our hunting knife is six, which is so good. And then this is also aggressiveness. And that's gonna go with our war paint over here. And that's gonna bring our war paint up to two. Our character has some pretty good items. I think I wanna go ahead and try to see if I can find something to hunt. Now from past experiences, I believe there's hunting up here. And I'm gonna have Amelia go first and take a look at this card because she has the most like weapons and combat ability here. She found ghostly fog. Oh, what's this? The surrounding area is covered with thick patches of eerie fog. If a weather card is already in play, return it and remove the corresponding figure from the board. Put a fog figure into play on the card that will replace this. If it is not a terrain card, put the figure into play on the active player's terrain card instead. Take a 510 card. Oh, it's gonna be terrible. All right, so <laughs> 220. We have a 220 card and it says, a pool of water seems to have collected underneath one of the large trees to the north. It might be a prime water source for local fauna. Here's our card. All right, it's got some bamboo, but I don't really need, the, oh, I can make my blowpipe for free, that'd be sweet. All right, we've got a 177, that's our key to victory, but I have to put this down, put some exploration cards, and I've gotta grab a 510 card and put this fog into play. So let's do that first, two threes. One here, I'm gonna put one here. 
Now I've panned out, so we could go ahead and put this fog figure up here. It's gonna go right there, and it's fantastic. Now, if you're wondering where this fog thing came from, this is from the uh, elements, braving the elements or something, or the, it's basically the weather uh, expansion. So we've got our fog card here. It says, the fog thickens, and now you can hardly see more than a few feet ahead. Awesome. It says, immediately after one or more character figures leave the terrain card with the fog figure on it, take a 528 card. As long as the fog figure is in play, the following effect applies everywhere on the board. I get stealth two stars. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put that right up there. So now both of our characters are going to move over to that tile. They're going to move together. And I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Amelia's walking stick. It's got six times of use, six durability, sorry. I'm going to take it down to five. And what this does is it allows me to make a move action here, a walking action at negative two cards to pull. And so it takes two to move off this tile, not with my walking stick, I get to move for free. Now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and take a 177 card. I'm really excited for this. This is, I know this is a hunting spot right here. So we're gonna take a 177 card. Oh, let's see what's over here. This is what I think it is. I think that's tracks. And if it's tracks, I think I have a card that's gonna help me. I think that Anjika has a card that's gonna help with hunting if I see tracks on it. I sure do. It says predator. The following effect applies as long as you have one, have this in hand and footprints can be seen on your terrain card. And that's true. I get one success and a lucky seven when hunting. The Predator card also lowers the amount of cards I need to take for my spot observe action by one. So I get to look at this for free. So let's see what we find. So there's three 177 cards. We're gonna go ahead and mix these up a little bit. We're gonna take one. Let's see what it is. It says, you spot numerous tracks in the vicinity of a small pond, an obvious water source for the local fauna. The surrounding vegetation is dense enough to provide perfect cover for you to wait in ambush. Two, I can draw two cards. I need one success. I need up to six successes. I can draw four 150 cards. This would be awesome. All right, depending on the number of successes you obtain, take the corresponding number of 105, or 150 cards, sorry. If I get one or two successes, I get one. Three or five, I get three. Six plus, I get four 150 cards. Reveal them. If at least one involved character is bloody, you must discard one of those cards without the keyword predator. Choose one of the remaining cards which represents the result of your hunt. Return the other cards and then replace, banish this card and put a yellow or gold card in its place. All right, so we are gonna go hunting. So I'm gonna zoom out again. I kind of zoomed in and I probably didn't need to. We're gonna remove that for now. This is gonna be a permanent event up here. I don't have to do this right now, but I am gonna do it. Uh, let's see, what was I gonna, oh, I can also craft my blowpipe. So since we have bamboo on this tile, Anjika is going to craft this for free. It's going to cost her three, and she's going to put this into her inventory area. Now we're going to go ahead and take advantage of our hunting card right here. So let's see what items we're going to use. We have a lot of choices here. First off, we are going to use the hunting knife. So I'm going to tick this down from a six to a five, and that's going to give us two successes when it comes to hunting. I'm not going to banish it. I'm just going to use it to get two successes. So we're up to two successes right now. We have our predator card, which is gonna add a success. So we're up to three successes right now. I'm gonna use my blowpipe, which is going to bring this down to a two, which is gonna give us three, five successes. We're already at five successes. The max we can have is six. I wonder if I can get there. I could use this to give me six, and then I wouldn't have to draw any cards because the predator card and this one also make me not have to draw as many cards. But I don't think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go with those five successes. We got one, two, three, four, five. Five successes right now, and let's go draw some cards and get to six. So we need six successes. I'm gonna move our fog card back over onto the fog place, but we know it's here. So I need to get six successes to be able to draw four 150 cards. So I'm gonna take two cards and hope for two, one success. We just need one. And we got two successes. Oh, Valiant Heart shall not fail. And we got a splint. All right, since we did this action together, I'm gonna to give this to Anjika and and Jik, I can't pronounce her name right now, I'm sorry. Splint over there, there we go. And so with Anjika and Amelia, we have gone ahead and gained four 150 cards. Now we can't forget we have this guy as well. So we're able to use this as well. 
During the consequence steps, you keep at least one 150 card or one 250 card. You may keep an additional 150 card. We might use this guy. We're going to see how it goes. We have a whole stack of 150 cards. We're going to mix these all together, and we're going to go ahead and draw four of these guys. Oops, I dropped that one. We're going to mix these all up, and we're going to draw four. So there we go. Shuffle a couple more times here, and we get four of them. Let's draw the top four. One, two, three, and four. Hopefully this hunt was worth it. Our first card is an egg. What? You spot a careful egg sitting, a colorful egg sitting on a rocky hill. Ugh. You decide to take it before heading on your way. Immediately after you choose to keep this, take an 878 card and card and keep and or take another 150 card. If this leaves your hand, banish it. Oh, okay, well, I get an egg. Yay. That's not meat. All right, let's see what's next. Oh, a goat. Well, a goat can be meat. I can get three zero zero one cards. A white goat that has set its mind on following you. Or I can gain plus 20 if I ever want to use its goat budding power. It also, I can, I can attack it and eat it. All right, that's fantastic. All right, let's see what else we get. Oh, the horned bear. This guy was the bane of my existence in the last playthrough. We're going to take this guy down. We're so taking him down. You kill and butcher the bear. Take one zero zero three card and five zero zero one cards. One of all character takes a one oh five card. All right, I'm not too worried. That is totally what I'm taking. All right, let's see what else we find. A white hare. Take two zero zero one cards. All right, so we got lots of fun stuff here. First, we of, of our hunt, we are going to take our horned bear. This is one of the things we're going to keep. We're also going to keep our egg, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> gonna keep an egg. All right, there we go. We're gonna keep the egg. We're gonna take on the horned bear. And now do I take the goat or do I take the white hair? I think we're getting a lot of meat from the horned bear. So we're gonna take the goat and use our phosphorifus dude here. And we're gonna get rid of it to keep our goat. So I'm gonna go ahead and I believe this is gonna go into the past. Right over there. And we're going to go ahead and discard the white hair, though he would give us two zero zero one cards. Not too bad. We're going to go ahead and put him in the past as well. All right. So let's see what we got here. We've got a goat. I'm just going to go ahead and put that over with our guys. I'll deal with this egg in a second. First, we've got to take on this horned bear. Let me see. Immediately after you choose to keep this, take an 878 eight card and or and keep and or take another 150 card. Hmm. If I choose to keep this, okay, so I think I have to do this first before, no, because this is a locked action, it's an instant action, in a temporary event, I think I have to do this right away. We're going to go ahead and do this first. It says, an angry horned bear rears up before you, ready to slash you to ribbons. I'm not worried about you, horned bear. All right, so I'm going to kill this horned bear. I need four success, eight successes, and I can only draw four cards. So let's see how we're going to try to take this guy out. All right, we got a lot of fun stuff here. We're going to take this bear out. First, we're using our hunting knife, hunting knife club contraption here to gain one, two, three, four successes and a lucky star. So it's going to go down to four. So we've already got four successes and a lucky seven. When you use a super weapon or super item, if you use one of its durability, you're allowed to use every part of the card. So I'm taking four successes and a lucky seven. Meanwhile, over here, not the blowpipe, we're going to go ahead and use our war paint thing here and bring this to a one. Now this also is going to use our bolas. And our bolas on the bottom do say discard this. So we're going to gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two lucky stars for this thing. Also for the action up here, I get another lucky seven. So we're already up to what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stars already. We have to draw four cards. So I think we're doing pretty good. Oh, we might even get something from our predator card. Oh, we do. Look at that. I can draw one less card. That's awesome. Oh, look, I can draw multiple less cards. Check this out. One, two, three. I can draw three less cards using these items here. So I only have to physically draw one if I want to. Because our horned bear has a four, but it is a locked value, so I can't actually physically adjust that number unless they use the effects of cards from their hands and or inventories. So I am using cards from my hands and inventories. So I am able to adjust this. So I have, I keep forgetting, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight successes already? Really? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight successes already. So if I can drop this down as much as I can, I'm gonna <laughs> decimate this bear. All right, so we can go one, two, three. 
All right, sounds good. So we're going to discard this card, and we're going to go ahead and kill this Horned Bear, and I only have to take one card. So our Horned Bear is going down. I'm going to draw one card, and I've already got eight successes. So I don't even need to worry about this card. Learn by doing. I'm going to go ahead and keep this, because Anj Anjika has actually an open space in her inventory. Now we're going to see what happens here. It says that I take one 003 card and five 001 cards. And I do have to take a 105 card as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that next. So our 003 card is just going to be our experience card. It says, an incident from your previous expedition comes to your mind. Harvey was so excited about the discoveries made during the first two weeks on the continent that he neglected to eat or get enough sleep. When the first difficulties came, he was the first one to die. And I gain an experience point. It says, surviving in the first hours must be your number one concern. So find hunting and fishing spots and gather the appropriate equipment. Find a comfortable place to rest and turn those, your experience points into advanced skills. All right, so gain yet another ex your experience point. And now I've got a ton of these 001 cards again. Mix them all up and I'm going to take five. One, two, three, four, and five. So we've got those five cards right there. And I'm sure we found just a lot of meat. So we found meat, 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 meat. What's this? This is a different one. Randomly take four cards or seven if you have the fire resource. Oh, it's a super meat. All right, so I got, where did this card come from? Maybe it's from the expansion or something. I if, if, I don't think I've ever drawn that card. Or if I did, I just totally missed that I had it. All right, so we got these five cards. And we can put them in stacks of three is the most we can do. I'm going to have her just ditch her war paint so that she has room to hold all this meat. So we're going to make a stack of three meat and a stack of two meat. And then we're going to have that blow pipe as well. So we're going to put a two die right here on this stack of meat. So we're going to discard that card. Now I have to take a 105 card. So there's a bunch of 105 cards. We're going to go ahead and mix them up a little bit. And we're going to take one card. There's our 105 card. And it says... Your clothes are covered in blood, whether yours or that of a dead animal, both pose their own risks. Bloody. All right, so if I apparently take a nautical action or I'll get wet action, I guess I'm serious what that is, I can return this bloody state. Now, luckily for me, this state card did not have that symbol of the blue like card with the red X through it, so I don't actually have to discard any cards for taking for getting this state. But if you drew one that had that, you would have to discard cards equal to the number of state cards you have in your hand, and you actually do count yourself as have being a, technically a state card for that purpose. So if this one did have this, I would have to dr discard one card since Anjika has n the red symbol. And I am going to give that card to Anjika because I'm sure she did a lot with that bowl. Actually, I might give it to Amelia. She's the one that stabbed it. I'm going to give it to Amelia. She's the one that had the hunting knife. She probably is probably the one that's all bloody. We're then going to go ahead and discard that guy. I get this egg. Now I got to deal with this. Wow, this is just... <laughs> this whole episode is just going to be about hunting right here. This is unbelievable. I did not expect... Not to mention I made a mess of this entire place here. All right, now it says we have to take an 878 card. So let's go ahead and do that. Our 878 card states, you carefully turn the egg in your hands and feel something strange, as if the creature inside, as you are sure the egg holds a life form within it, was trying to communicate with you. Oh my goodness, animal empathy. All right, let's see what it says. You cannot wait to meet the creature inside the egg. You consider warming the egg by holding it in your hands or placing it near a heat source. You may take the following action only if you a card with the keyword bond in your hand. Okay, I don't have a keyword bond in my hand. Or zero if you have a fire resource bond in my hand. I don't have anything like bond in my hand. So I guess we're not doing that. As you do not really know what to do, you think about trying something unusual. If you want to take the following action, you must have a card with the keyword bond in your hand and use the card with the keyword music in your hand, 847, and banish this. Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, I don't have any bond in my hand, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this in my satchel until I find something with a bond. And I don't think they're talking about James. So there we go. So we've put our animal empathy card in the journal right here, and I'm going to go ahead and banish this card. And we'll put it right over here. All right, now we've got our two guys right here. 
on our card with the fog, which I have to deal with next. Oh my gosh, all I wanna do is, oh, I could cook the food right here. I could, no, I wanna get back. I think that's our plan. We're gonna get back here to our balloon and we're gonna go up, up, up after we eat some food. So we're gonna put our, oh, I've gotta banish this too. Wow, there's lots of stuff I gotta do. We're gonna banish this and put a gold card out. What number is this? 177. All right, so we're gonna put a 177 card. So I've got our gold 177 card, but I want you to be aware, there's also two more 177 cards. What this is supposed to represent is you kind of did a whole bunch of, well, I just killed a horned bear. So everything else that's around here doesn't really wanna have anything to do with this place right now. But say we went back here and saved our game, we could come back up here, and every time you'd go to the get a 177 card, you would always take the green cards first. So it's kind of like the animals kind of returning back up here now that the place has kind of become more subsided. All right, so our 177 card says, among the tracks you spot near the pond, one set is much larger and undoubtedly belongs to a predator. You'll need to be careful. And so now this is gonna probably become harder to do. Yeah, look at this, I need three just to grab one. And the card becomes different, so it's a harder hunting spot and it probably is more difficult, I don't know. So we're gonna put these two back in the box though. I just wanted you guys to be aware that there were extra ones in there and that's kind of what that represents. So if we ever do need to come back and hunt, we can. We could just go back up in our balloon, come back down if we want. Nah, I don't know if that's, a, it's not really fun though. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our walking stick again, which is right here. And we're gonna go back across, towards our campground here. Or, well, it was our campground, but then the rain. All right, so we're gonna go back there. And when we do, we have left this terrain card. So that means we have to take a five, two, eight card. I'm sure it's gonna be like, find your way back, good luck. All right, I found four of them. Four, five, two, eight cards. Oh boy. Okay, we're gonna mix them all up here again. We're gonna take one. Hopefully, it doesn't kill us. All right, there's our five, two, eight card. Let's see what it says. It says nothing on the back, but we turn it over and, uh oh, what's this? You see a shadow zipping through the fog. A wild animal is apparently lurking nearby. Oh, wow, I can hunt again. <laughs> Depending on the number of successes you obtain, take the corresponding number of 150 cards. Reveal them. If at least one involved character is bloody, you may discard one of these cards without a keyword predator. Choose one of the remaining cards which represents the result of your hunt. Return the other cards. Banish this. Oh, maybe I did this wrong. Let me just check real quick. I have to return. Um, choose one of the remaining cards which represents your hunt. Return the other cards. Oh, I had to return them. That was my fault. So we chose the horned bear and we chose the goat. Oh, which is down here. I haven't actually given the goat to anybody yet. But I do have to return the hair. That was my fault. The hair has to go back to the box. And I should probably figure out who to give the goat to. We're going to give this to An Anjika too. But now we have to deal with this. Okay. Now, the question is, do I even really care? I've got so much food over there. Is it really worth trying to get to these five successes just to grab one 150 card? Let's see what we got going on. So here's what's going on. We have the ability, oh, I don't think there's any tracks on this card. There are no tracks on the card, so this card is null and void. We would get two successes from our blowpipe if we decide to use our blowpipe, which is gonna be too bad. Um, we also get two successes here if we use our hunting knife, bringing it down to three. Again, that wouldn't be too bad. So we'd get four successes automatically, and I need five just to have anything happen. You know. We already got, let's do it. I'm gonna go ahead and use one from the blowpipe to give me two successes. I'm gonna use the hunting knife to give me two more successes. So we have four successes right now from our two cards. Four, and then all I need to do is get a few more. I'm gonna learn by doing Valiant Heart Shall Not Fail. None of those are gonna help me. Four, I'm just forewarned. So we've got a total of three successes extra if we need it. All right, so we're at four. I'm allowed to take as many as I want. So four, if I have four successes, maybe if I take three more cards, I might be able to get up to six. Let's give it a shot. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take three cards to try to maybe get up to six. So we have four successes right now since we're working together. Four, five, we're gonna take three cards. So we have four successes, maybe we can get up to six. We've got some more cards, all right. We got one, nothing, nothing. Oh, I got two successes out of that deal. Now, does any of those give me a lucky seven? No, they don't. All right, so we've got one, two, four, five, six. So we did get six, that's fantastic. I can give Anjika her net or another remember card. Both of those are really good, but she has her predator. You know, I don't think we're gonna need the predator card anymore. 
because we're going to be going up in the air. I'm going to give her, her a remember card instead. I'm going to discard her predator card because we've done a good job with it. It was fantastic. Thank you, predator card. And we're going to give her the remember card. And now we get to go ahead and grab two 150 cards and we'll see what happens. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix up our 150 cards again. We're going to see what we get. So I get two of these. I'll take that one and I'll take that one. And we'll see what we get. This is really just a bonus hunt right here. I didn't expect to get something like this. What do we find? Oh, empty handed, absolutely nothing. All right, what else do we find? Oh. <laughs> Apparently we didn't see anything in the fog. It was just a big joke. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and I guess I get to pick one of these. I get to choose one, which will be the representation by hunt and then return the other ones. All right, so return that one. That was, <laughs> that was hilarious. And now I'm gonna banish this. Oh, sorry, hit the camera. Banish this. So we're gonna banish this card over there. Now we're back on our main terrain card where our balloon is. So I'm gonna put our balloon back here because he's happy. And we're going to go ahead and remember something. I'm gonna have Anik, or Amelia remember some fire. Well, actually, maybe I'll make Anika remember it. Or Anjika, I'm sorry. She's got a remember card. I'm gonna have Anjika remember this. So let's grab a fire card from in here. Anjika's gonna remember this friction fire. I think that's gonna be our best bet. Because check this out. It's free to make because there's wood here on this tile. And I only need one success and one star. Now again, I think they're gonna work together to make this friction fire. Now the friction fire is vigilance, so it will connect to my blowpipe, which is also vigilance. I didn't even think about that. I got lucky on that one. And it's gonna go up to two. Then it's gonna go back down to one because I'm gonna use the friction fire and I'm going to need one card and get one success. But I've got a plan this time. Since we're working together, I'm gonna use my rope, bring it down to a three. And if I can find the three, there it is. And I get to draw one less and I gain one star when doing a fire action. And that's what we're doing right here. So that means we've made this for free. I'm gonna discard this. I'm gonna put our fire token back into play after the rainstorm washed it out. All right, and now we're gonna cook some more food. So let's see how many cards are in our discard pile. There are 33 cards in our discard pile. Let's get them all back into that deck. So if I eat all our food, we get 31 cards. One, two, three, four, five times six is 30. Plus this is an extra one because it's seven. So 31 cards. And now let's see again, how many are here? All right, there are 33 cards. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shuffle these up and I'm gonna draw two and just put them into the discard pile. So we're just gonna shuffle these up a little bit. There you go. And we're gonna grab that one and we're gonna grab that one. Those two are gonna go into the discard pile. All the rest are gonna go into our action deck. I'll shuffle that in a second. Our discard pile consists of think in the net. All right, fantastic. Those two cards are up there. Oh, maybe I should have remembered something before I did that because I <laughs> forgot that Amelia has a remember card. She could have maybe grabbed something useful. We're gonna shuffle this together. All right, so we got our action deck right up here, and now every single one of you is probably thinking I'm an absolute moron because I forgot that there's a fire over here, which means I believe this tile would have a fire icon on it, or is it just this tile that does? I Anyway, I don't know if I needed to make that fire. That was my fault. I think I can use this as a fire resource. Oh, a fire resource, yeah, um, oh well, that's the deal. So we're all set, we've got ourselves here. We're probably gonna go back up in our balloon, but I think we're gonna do that in our next video. So this has been a wonderful playthrough here. I'm absolutely loving it. This is totally forgot how awesome this game is. It's been a little while since I've been to the seventh continent. It was really neat reminiscing on this tile. I've, I remember this in my last, in my Voracious Goddess playthrough. I remember coming through here. So this is kind of nostalgic. This little balloon brings me right back to a place I've been before. Now, we're gonna continue on playing and this balloon is gonna take us into places we've never seen. I'm pretty sure of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. Like I've said, this is just a lot of fun. We've got, our guys are fully fed. We're ready to go. We got an action deck that's super thick. I'm ready to get back in the skies and see what we can find. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell symbol and you'll know when the next video comes out. Please leave anything in the comments below. I'd love to hear from everyone. How do you think we're doing? Is this a, did I think I did a pretty good job here hunting? That was pretty fun. Now, do you think we should go off into our balloon and into back into the stratosphere or should we maybe look around a little bit because they did mention something about hiding something in this area. If you think that's a plan I should do, please let me know. Otherwise, we're going back up in the balloon and getting out of here.
Again, thank you so much for watching, and if you're interested to see what happens to our brave, cursed survivor adventurers, then I need you to meet me at the table. Yeah.